Okay, before we get going with the actual procedure, I'd just like to explain some of the things about the flimsy patterns you're buying now. Uh, most of them have 5.8 seam allowance. Uh, I don't have a problem with that. I don't know many shirt makers that use even half inch. So uh, the point I want to make here is that I'll show you how to convert this pocket onto a cardboard so it can be easy uh, to construct your pockets. We'll show you a method where you can actually make a pocket in a couple of minutes. Uh, the point here is that when you're tracing uh, with your tools, uh, I want you to trace the finished uh, seam allowances. It's going to be very easy with a see-through ruler, you'll be able to put them back in, but I suggest that you use the cutting, the actual stitching uh, seam lines uh, to copy. Uh, for example, on the cuff uh, down at the bottom, they have a very large uh, seam allowance. It looks like almost three-quarter. Uh, I would follow the stitching uh, here. Follow the stitching all the way around and then we'll add and normally in shirt making we use quarter inch. Uh, this one here has already been cut down. I think it was 5 eighths when it first started. Uh, the placket, there is a placket. Uh, I do have a tutorial on how to do a, a placket, a shirt sleeve placket from scratch all the way through. Uh, this placket will work. Uh, I have one that's included in the tutorial, uh, but I'll show you how to copy this on there too. Now your uh, band and your collar all have a center back marking and we'll be cutting everything on the paper on the fold. So here's the center back and we'll go ahead and uh, put it on the fold and copy it. Again, I would follow the stitching when you're copying and with the needle wheel that I'll show you, uh, I'll show you how easy it really is. The same thing goes for the band. We'll put it on the center back. The yoke, again, we'll put it on the center back and copy it on the stitch line. Uh, normally, uh, in custom, we do have uh, quarter inch seam allowances or three eighths on the neckline half inch on the shoulders and half inch at the bottom that attaches to the shirt back. I'll show you how to copy that. And then there's always uh, a center uh, of the sleeve that matches the yoke and I'll, you can copy that onto there. Uh, those are the small pieces. Now I just want to make one distinction on the big pieces, specifically the, uh, the front. Uh, on the front you have a center front and then you have a fold. We must take this measurement from the center front to the fold. In this particular one, it's 5 eighths. And the reason you need to know that is because you're going to multiply whatever that measurement may be. Some of them are 3 quarters, some of them are 5 eighths, some of them may even be half inch. So whatever that measurement is from center front to fold, you'll multiply by 4. In this example, it's 5 eighths, and 4 times 5 eighths is 2 and a half. And I'll show you how to measure out the 2 and a half to create a grow-on placket so it's a lot easier uh, to make your shirt.